The A's, the Mariners, the Pirates, Cardinals, and Yankees are all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five stacks for today. It's Thursday, August 3rd. We're talking DraftKings right now. If you're interested in more MLB content, sign up at Stochastic using the promo code SCORE. Link is in the description. You can get our MLB Platinum Weekly Package for 50% off for that first week. Projected fantasy points, ownership, top stacks, top pitchers, top batters, and the lineup generator. That's going to be the thing you want the most. You get it all for 50% off. You see it on the screen right now. Click the link in the description. Come join us. 11% chance at top stack, 3% chance at top value. That's going to be the Houston Astros taking on the Yankees and Clark Schmidt. Now, we got a four and a half run implied total for the Astros. This spot looks good enough. Houston's on the road. Park plays up power big time in New York. And there is some power to be had here for Houston. Best guys that you can get to. Altuve's at 9%. Jeremy Pena is at 9%. And Jordan Alvarez, even at 6K, at 9% optimal. Those are your three best options from Houston, but they just look good in general. There's a lot of ceiling here. 10% chance at top stack, 20% chance at top value for the Minnesota Twins taking on the Cardinals. They got a lefty on the hill and a five run implied total. This spot looks fantastic. And these guys are free. 4,700 for Carlos Correa, 10% optimal. Donovan Solano's got an MPE, double digit optimal. Buxton's just Buxton. Polanco, Castro, Jeffers, all double digit optimal. These guys are super duper easy to roster because Outside of Buxton at 5,200, everybody's 4,700 and cheaper. Most of the guys are sub 3K. This spot looks fantastic for Minnesota. A little bit more ceiling, a lot less value here for the Dodgers in at number three, taking on JP Sears and the A's. 13% chance at top stack, 4% chance at top value. You're looking at Mookie Betts as the obvious best Dodger. That MPE really helps in the leadoff spot. Will Smith at 5,600, well worth it. You're paying up for a couple bats. There's some cost savings, not a lot. The real benefit for the Dodgers, their projected lineup has four MPEs. The Reds are in Chicago, still trying to slow down the Cubs. They're getting Jamison Ty on today. Four and a half run implied total for Cincinnati. 14% chance at top stack, 6% chance at top value. Ellie De La Cruz with the MPE in the leadoff spot is always going to look fantastic. Friedel, McLean, Fraley, all stand out as double-digit optimal guys. You get Spencer Steer with the MPE. You get two separate first base options, whether you like Votto or Christian Encarnacion Strand. You can go either direction, depending on if you have the salary or not. The Reds look good. The park works. The run total's fine. But none of the teams that we've talked about look like the Cubs. They went crazy two days ago. They went crazy yesterday. And they're the number one stack once again. 15% chance at top stack, 8% chance at top value. You're getting Ian Happ, 12% optimal. Cody Bellinger as the best option from the Cubs. First base outfield, MPE, 5,200, 14% optimal. And it's Luke Weaver on the hill. A below average starter, and the Cubs have a 5.4 run implied total. Can they do it again? Are they going to be the highest scoring team again? We got to find out, but uh, it feels like they have the best chance. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my MLB DFS contenders on DraftKings for Thursday, August 3rd. FanDuel version is around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight. Win some money. We're back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.